Hello friends and Alec. I am going to be giving you a crash course on how to script in this little video. So the program that I use is called Auto Hotkey. It's right there. And you guys will need to download it first. And after you download it, launch the quick start tutorial, read everything. And then you get to the more advanced command list. And bigger ones are more important than the smaller ones. Just like how we're more important than Alec. And then uh, you can click on these to figure out what they do and more information about them. So this tells you what to do. This tells you the details. And then you have your example down here. So now that you know all that fun stuff, we're going to go and look at a script that I have already done. And this one's going to be called Forward. It's just a random name. So don't double click because that'll actually activate the script. It'll run it. So right click, then edit. In this script, I have a double loop. And I'm going to go step by step with what I did to create this. So spacing doesn't really matter. It just matters for you to make sure that you don't lose your place. This one is small, so it doesn't really matter that much. So I set up with uh, starting my loop right here. And inside the loop, I have control R. This is control, and then that's R, of course. And then the two colons means if that particular key sequence is pressed, then it will start the following. So you can have control R, control Alt R. Uh, the control is the little character right there, and then the Alt is a star. You can type in whatever you want. If I hit Control Alt Star when this script was running, it would start the next sequence. But for now, we're going to keep it Control R. The Sleep 200. This is basically just waiting uh, 200 uh, milliseconds, so not very long at all. And then it starts the actual loop that we care about. So. This is the loop right there. So send, this is how you actually start to type on your keyboard. So send, and then whatever's in here is what it'll do on the keyboard. So W in this case is what's going to be pressed, and it's going to be pressed down. And that will just go on forever since I haven't said anything else. But I said if the key state, R, is pressed, then we will break from this loop which is basically this whole thing right there. So if I hit Control R, it'll start walking for me, W down. And then if I hit R again, not Control R again, but if I hit R again, then it will stop walking. And the reason that I have this loop and it ends right there again is because I don't want to restart the script every time I want to run somewhere or I want to continuously walk without holding down the W key. And this return is just because if you have more than one loop, you have to figure out where it wants to go back to. Do you want to go back here, here, wherever? So I just have that return there. So once you have your script, you want to save it as anything that you care to name it. But it has to be auto hotkey, A-H-K. And then once you save it, I'm not going to do that. But once you save it, it'll pop up somewhere up here and look like that. And then when you double click on it, it will work. You can't see it down here, but there's a little thing that says 4.hk. I can right click to get rid of it. Right click and then it says exit or pause. I usually just click exit. So now it's running and we can see how it works. So let's go to Minecraft here. Okay, so if I hit control R, oh god, it's starting to move. And I need to hit R again. Okay, and it stopped. Let's try it again. Control R. And R. Yay, it's so fun. So that's basically it. And we'll learn more in the next video if I ever make it.